we're skipping ahead here chronologically to a film which is toward the end of Umberto Lenzi's filmography. The early 90s was a time when the that Italian kind of B-movie industry, you know, with these the genre films, the horror pictures, the attempts at, you know, sci-fi, ripping off whatever major Hollywood blockbusters are out, you know, Jaws or Exorcist or Star Wars in the 70s, dozens of cop films, Policiteschi, Policitesco, um, and then there was the boom of um, do all these uh, post-apocalyptic uh, Mad Max 2 or Escape from New York-esque pictures in the 80s. Uh, they were trying to hold on... Umberto Lindy's trying to hold on to these haunted house films in the late 80s. They're, I think he had a contract or a deal. Maybe Lucio Fulci was meant to direct them. It fell, it fell through, so Lindsay got the job. I think that might be what happened. I'm not sure. Anyway, so what we have in, what we have in 1991 is inexplicably A Hunt for the Golden Scorpion. Now, it reminds me of how Antonio Margheriti had directed two Indiana Jones knockoffs in... Uh, Hunt for the Golden Cobra, Hunters of the Golden Cobra, and Ark of the Sun God. Hunt for the Golden Scorpion is a few years too late. Maybe they figured Last Crusade had come out a couple of years before. They figured, hey, Indiana Jones, we'll just do another one of those. And here, you know how we can appreciate the Indiana Jones films as, you know, these great spectacles, these seamless action sequences. You really believe that uh, Indiana Jones is doing everything he's doing in those films. He's like the ultimate cool action man in a way. But he's you know he's vulnerable. Or he's he gets scratches on him, and he, it's not like you know Rambo or, or um, uh, Commando, you know the Schwarzenegger film where they're just mowing through people, and cutting guys up in a garden shed. I don't know what that's all about, but you know, whatever. Um, and then Lindsay decides, well, hey, I never did, I haven't done an adventure film since the sixties. Why, why not another one? You know, Indiana Jones is all is all the rage. It's it's, it's whip it out. Hunt for the Golden Cobra, yeah. Okay, no, excuse me, Scorpion. The you can this film is defined by the look of its golden scorpion prop. <laughs> You'll see that at the end of the video. You see, what is interesting about this film is Lindsay having seriously not less to work with than ever, and he still churns out what would be good shots in like an independent drama film. Check out the screen caps. Let me know if you disagree. I, I thought this is like I, if this if my student came to me with these, I'd be like, "Yeah, you're getting the hang of it. Good on you, man. Good, keep keep it at, keep at it. Seriously, you you've got a knife. You've got an eye for this, <laughs> for framing. And, and then it's just there are action sequences in between. Well, not really. I enjoy the how garage and DIY this is again. Like this is this, I've I've stated this is the appeal of many of Lindsay's films. The film is not good. It's not escapist. It's not seamless. You watch it, and it's just... The, the novelty of it is emphasised, and it's a novelty which appears across Umberto Lindsay's filmography, that which I described. You admire the, the something-out-of-nothing quality of these genre films, and... Oh boy, did he have to pull something out of nothing with Hunt the Golden Scorpion, as you can no doubt tell from the screen caps.